everyone and welcome back to the youtube channel i am with all abc Today for the first time i would need to smash that subscribe button okay i'm trying to get to 1000 subscribers by the end of july and i'm currently at 860 subscribers so your subscription is so important to me okay period <laughs> So sometime last day in 2021, a reporter made a tweet that went absolutely viral about how an applicant had included Gudian as one of their skills. She said she shortlisted the candidates for an interview. And at that point, I was like, is there a way to Google that I don't know about or is there something I'm missing somewhere? So that was when I actually went to learn how to Google. So you'll be surprised how many people that don't know how to Google properly, they don't know how to use keyword search, they don't know how to use the Boolean search, they don't know how to use syntax. and all of those functionalities in this video i'm going to show you tips and efficient ways for you to find anything online although the examples i will be using will be particular to people who are writing a final year project dissertation thesis whatever the case may be right so unless there was some reason you've quoted a scholar or you have picked up something somewhere and you can't find the reference or you don't know where you picked it from i'm going to show you the most efficient way to look for those references and how to find those scholars that you pick from some academic research papers that you're not supposed to pick from you just plagiarize basically but i'm going to show you different efficient ways for you to find those references quite easily if you want to look for a particular scholarly definition that you've used and you can't find the book that you got that particular definition from one of the easiest way for you to do this is you have to type out the full definition and put it in quotation mark so now i'm going to bring out a very generic definition and we're going to try to find the book where that definition was gotten from right because we're trying to find our references so the first thing you want to do is just to put your quotation mark then type in the full definition right so i'm going to type in job satisfaction as is it pleasurable how is pleasurable spelled as a pleasurable positive emotional it's all right so this particular definition was by edwin lock right so i'm going to put i'm going to close the quotation mark i'm going to close the quotation mark and put edwin lock right enter See, these are the search results that we got for this particular definition but we're looking for the particular book where this scholar edwin lock made this quotation right so what we want to do here is to scroll to the end of our text and put file type column pdf so it depends on what file type you're looking for if you're looking for powerpoint if you're looking for word just put the just put the file type there but because i'm particularly looking for pdf that's why i'm using pdf right so after doing that just press enter once you scroll down you see different pdfs so people have mentioned this particular definition so you just want to scroll down and what i want to use is say this one for example so i'm clicking on this that means that definition has been mentioned in this academic article so what you want to do is control find and look for lock because the name of the scholar is edwin lock then you press enter all right so this is the definition we're looking for right so you can see job satisfaction has been defined as a pleasurable or positive emotional state resulting from the appraisal of one's job or one's experience so what we're looking for is the book where this definition was made so what you want to do is you want to go down to the other places where search brought up lock so i'm going down down to the reference section and you can see this is the name of the book where edwin lock made that definition so this is it here lock ea 1976 the nature and causes of job satisfaction and that is like the most efficient way for you to find the references or the names of the books where you've gotten your quotation from so there was a particular time when i was when I was writing my project, my dissertation, right, my my project supervisor had a complaint that I was using outdated definitions and I had to update them to more recent definitions and all of those things. What you can do in order to find recent research papers is what I'm going to show to you now. So, for example, if you are looking to reference, say, a work by Michael Alliday, right, but you want something that is between 2000 and 2015, what you are going to do right here is, let's say, for example, Michael Alliday is 
a linguistic scholar, right? He was one of the people who founded systemic functional grammar. So let's say systemic functional grammar by Kylie Grammar. And as I said earlier on, you what you want to do is you want to put these things in quotation marks so that it doesn't just bring all the search results where there is the word systemic or functional grammar. You want set results where you have those three words strings together, systemic functional grammar. That is the importance of these quotation marks, right? So after putting systemic functional grammar, what you want to do next in order to get the most recent academic works is to put after your column 2000, right? That is already putting the commands that you want research papers or you want academic works that are from 2000 to date. You don't want anything before 2000. So your search results will not have anything 1996 or 1999 in it. So I'm going to press enter now, right? As you can see, if you scroll down, you see all these works are dated. See, this one is 2001. This one is 2016. It's 2021. This one is 2008. So if you scroll down, you keep see 2011. You see that all the search results are 2000 to this. You would not say anything earlier than 2000. And if it is a case where you want things that are before 2000, systemic functional grammar, whatever the case may be, all you just have to do is navigate to the search bar and put before 2000 then press enter right so as you can see after pressing enter you can see the search results that we have is just 153 right so you can see all these works are dated 1988 99 96 98 97 that's just basically to navigate how to look for research papers that are date specific all right so let's say for example you want to search for something but you want it for a particular website right so let's say for example you're writing an academic paper but you only want to read or review articles from maybe jstor or academia.edu for example not just from the entire web so what you want to do is put in site put in your column then you put in the website then you put the keywords what we are searching for is are you under developed africa right press enter so as you can see whatever set result that we're getting is particular to academia.edu because that is the website that we're particularly interested in so whatever website it is you are trying to look for if maybe they don't have a search bar in that particular website that you are looking to search for a particular article a particular material what you want to do is just come here put the site put the column then put the website and then the keywords that you're interested in because if you scroll down everything we have here is from academia does it do nothing from any other website so if there is not a good search bar or a good search engine within the website that you're particularly interested in you can just go to google itself and then put in site put in column put in the url and then put in the keywords that you are particularly interested in so that brings us to the end of this video do not forget to smash the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up 